Welcome to Win Creativity Knox Paper Craft Series. You're going to love this one. In today's episode, I'm creating a tropical themed mini album with great dimensional accents made with the Gemini and other products from Crafters Companion. Begin by placing an 8.5 by 11 piece of the matte mirror green cardstock onto the scoring board. Score a line in the center of the paper and then score a half inch on either side of the center. Do this on a total of two pieces. Use the scoring tool to ensure that each fold line is sharp. Fold one sheet so the center fold is a valley fold, and another as a mountain fold. Fold the covers in the opposite directions. One will fit inside the other to create a double-sided cover. Glue the two sides together. Cut your patterned papers to the dimension shown in this photo. Ink the edges of all of your pieces of cut paper, and then mount one of the rectangular pieces to the front center of your book. by 5 inch piece of pattern paper to the bottom front of the cover, about an inch up from the bottom edge. Use pale yellow cardstock to die cut all the embellishments using the Gemini. Follow the manufacturer instructions for layering the cutting pads and the dies. For this project I cut one large flower, one medium flower, and one center flower using the spring flowers set. Two of the larger five petal flowers from the Gemini set two and two floral dance borders. Use decorator chalks to add color to coordinate with the soft tone flowers of the pattern paper. Gently fold and bend the flowers to add dimension. Use the Gemini and the flower embossing folder to emboss two of the four by four and a half inch pieces of the pale yellow cardstock. Score all of the pages a half inch from the top 
of the four and a half inch edge to create four by four inch pages. Mount the second piece of rectangular patterned paper centered on the inside front cover. Apply adhesive to the folded edge of one of the patterned paper pages. Mount to the inside back cover about a quarter of an inch from the top of the page. Trim the die cut floral borders to four inches and mount to the bottom of the embossed page pieces. Cut small strips of pattern paper, ink the edges, and mount them to cover the edge where the floral border meets the embossed paper. Continue adding pages, mounting the folding edge adjacent to the one prior to it. When finished, you will have a flip up double sided set of pages for your photos. Cut an additional piece of coordinating patterned paper 4 by 5 inches, ink the edges, and mount it at the bottom of the flip up pages on the back cover. Stamp Judykin's Philodendron rubber stamp with green ink onto the pale yellow cardstock and fussy cut around the leaf. ribbon in half and place the album in the center. Glue in place over the strip of patterned paper on the front. Glue the stamped leaf and the dimensional flowers in place on the edge. Glue coordinating crystal beads to the centers of the flowers and let the glue dry completely. Place the gecko kite stencil onto the pale yellow cardstock and use a color sponge to apply green ink. Fussy cut around the gecko. Mount the gecko to the bottom of the inside back page over the patterned paper. Use your scrap patterned paper to cut a strip to hold the ribbon in place on the back of the cover. Ink the edges, add some adhesive, and glue it over the ribbon. Let dry. Once all of your adhesive is dry, tie the ribbon in a bow to close the mini book. you're enjoying our creative paper craft series. Please follow us on social media and sign up on our website to receive our weekly newsletter and you're automatically entered to win one of our prize packages full of some of our favorite products. And remember, when creativity knocks, open the door!